Welcome into the WBC Arena. We've been waiting a long time to see these two get it on. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to miss this. Time for our tale of the tape. The Gypsy King himself, Tyson Fury. He stands an imposing six foot nine inches tall with a reach of 85 inches. And facing him here is this man, Alexander Usyk, six foot three and 198 centimeter reach. Oh my goodness, look at the reach difference there. That reach is gonna be an absolute nightmare to deal with because if that jab is used and that right hand is followed, there is going to be a problem tonight. This bout, one of the... These two fighters promised us an offensive show. Let's see if they deliver. One punch could change everything in this battle. One punch could change everything in this battle. What a pleasure it is to be here in this environment. What a venue for this showdown. God, listen to them, listen to them. You can, you can hear the noise, but you don't know what they're saying. It's that loud, I'm sorry, man. I'm shouting you here, I'm sorry. Left punch. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Oh, and they just got their bell rung. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Counter punch is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counter puncher, they're the people that make the history of our sport. This counter fighter believes in the anything you can do, I can do better. They'll let you throw a punch first, and they'll answer you and usually hit you harder. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. about Tyson Fury. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the corner got to put a firecracker on the fighter. Get out there and get the job done. And there's the bell to start round two. Now there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. No power in those punches. The counter fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Reaction is second to none. It's the blink of an eye, and they're waiting for any little touch you do. So you've got to fight a counter punch is smart. If you're a counter puncher, then basically you do the counter attack. You let them get their punch off first, and then you answer in kind. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He threw the hook, didn't land. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Let's 
see if these two heavyweights decide to exchange bombs early or decide to box a little bit. Guys that carry so much power, of course they're going to look for that knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. what the judges' scorecards read. There are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Tyson Fury. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is... There's the bell to start round three. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Swinging with nothing left. Caution is being thrown to the wind. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're gonna find out. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It could all come down to who's in better shape. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. This has been a very competitive round between these two. He parries that left jab away. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Let's talk about Tyson Fury. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. Dominance, without a doubt, Meg looks so, so easy. Fourth we go. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. What you've got to do, Toddy, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you've just got to throw portions to the wind and just hope. You're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You've just got to put in a guess. We exchange punches. Usyk might go down here. What an upset. That was the moment. They're giving us a high-tempo show. No rest for the weary. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above. All hands on deck. We are witnessing an upset in the making. I thought that was going to be a knockdown at least. Usyk. still continuing. That punch landed. 
very close round with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Tyson Fury. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Things are starting to heat up now as we enter the fifth. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. Punch. Which fighter will say no moss? The big Ukrainian in big trouble. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Didn't wait long to get back. Oh, and they got rocked. What a moment this is. Take anymore, and down he goes. One, two, three, four, five. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. Defense failed them. Like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. Let's talk about Tyson Fury. What a huge momentum swing that's going to be, considering that round will be 10 8 after the knockdown. You're being put. Here we go in the sixth round. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything, full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Missed him with that uppercut. I've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He fails to score with that left hook. Lands with the right counter. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. And wait a minute. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Talk about Tyson Fury. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a... There 
carries the bell to start round seven. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Hey, those punches add up. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain there. Oh my, the Ukrainian has been rattled. And they're down. Would be wise here to take the full eight seconds. Heard like this before. And apparently, no rest for the weary. Thought about taking a breath, but instead, they're in there throwing bombs again. On the right. Oh, that punch. And a counter. 10 seconds here and this has not been his round for sure why weren't they covering up let's talk about Tyson Fury where this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed to make or break a fighter the bell for round eight. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now they're saying when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Pull him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go because you know they won't shake your leg. They're a Nazi away from getting stopped. Defend yourself at all times, but this fighter hasn't defended themselves at all. Left punch. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions. Oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. back up on their feet but I'm not sure why the corner needs to think nice and sharp they know their fight they know what their fight is capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot take this is oh and that changes everything and down they go Many people would have predicted it, but we've got a knockout victory. A knockout victory? That is God. Did you see the shot? That's not a knockout. That's an assassination. What a shot.